German engineer Gerhard Juncker investigated transverse vibration and dynamic axial loads in bolted joints. In his 1969 paper, New Criteria for Self-Loosening of Fasteners Under Vibration, he concluded that transverse vibration was the major cause of bolted joint self-loosening. To investigate this, he developed a machine that uses a load cell to measure the loss of axial load in a preloaded bolted joint when subjected to transverse vibration. The machine measures how long it takes for the preload in the bolted joint to be lost and is used to test the effectiveness of different types of washers and fasteners. The test, known as the Juncker test, proves that if joint movement or vibration is aggressive enough to overcome the friction created underneath the bolt head or nut and their mating surface, the fastener is going to come loose over time, known as self-loosening. DIN 65151 was created to set the standard for testing bolted joints under transverse movement. This was replaced by the more stringent DIN 25201 in 2010, which still requires the use of the Juncker test machine. Traditional devices, such as nylon inserted nuts or prevailing torque nuts, are flawed. They do create more friction than a standard free-running bolt and nut, but this can still be overcome quite easily. The loss of load in the joint can be significant from less than a quarter turn of the bolt head or nut. This is where the wedge washer has many major advantages over friction methods. It allows for quick and easy assembly of the joint as the wedge washer is installed like a standard clearance washer. This also means the bolt thread can be lubricated, further speeding the installation process and giving consistent preload in the joints. Once the joint is tightened, the wedge washer maintains the preload in the bolt by tension rather than by friction. Because of the unique wedge effect of the cams, this tension, the preload, is maintained in the joint until it is deliberately loosened with a torque tool. Friction methods do not allow any lubrication of the joint and can considerably increase installation times due to the increased effort needed to tighten and loosen them. The Juncker tests show that to maintain the load in the joint, the best solution is the use of a wedge washer. The other devices can be used to stop the nut falling off the joint, but not to maintain the load. These only act as a loss prevention device, making wedge washer the best option for critical bolted joints.